Um, so education was always a big part of it. You know what I mean? I seek that hip hop music that is educated. That's like always been a big part of me. Mm -hmm. um, but early on, yeah, I was in um, in band in high school uh, just because I love music so much. Right. Um, and instrument. I, I played trumpet okay. and and baritone, nice. euphonium. Nice. But but it was it was all just because I love music so much. A lot of my friends they didn't know. I kind of kept it on the on, on raps like. They didn't even know I was in band until like I was missing practice for cross country or track because I had to go to a band practice, you know. Wow. But it was all about music. So I, early on, I wanted to be a, a, a teacher, a band director. But I figured, you know, I found out you had to, te you know, learn all these other instruments. It's tough. Mm -hmm. English was a big part of it, and so um, you know, getting these shows back in the day. Um, I, it was a show that we had done at uh, Taco Land, mm -hmm. and I don't know how many hip hop groups ever got to play at Taco Land. And, and yeah. shout out, shout out to Ram, you know, rest in peace, Ram. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I was, you know, I was able to meet him. I thought we were cool uh, until the next day. I went back to Taco Land, and he uh, called me the famous word that I'm sure everyone knows. <laughs> I won't say that right. on, on, on the air. Uh -oh. <laughs> You'll have to fill me in afterwards. <laughs> So, but uh, shout out, to, you know, definitely Taco Land and and, uh, and Nita, which was uh, is a nurse at uh, San Antonio School for Inquiry and Creativity. She invited me down to come to take a look at the campus there, and uh, you know, definitely one of the I think hidden gems in San Antonio as far as music programs and and all all that. Um, and so I actually started off, uh, you know, uh, uh, tutoring math. Uh, for middle school kids there, and so I kind of worked my way up, and I, I kind of pitched in the idea of uh, starting a, a music recording. They already had like guitar lessons and, and, and stuff like that, uh, but it started off like that. I brought in my own home recording uh, equipment that I kind of pieced together through the years, and the uh, little that I learned here and there, and uh, we started the music recording class there, and um, you know, and it's just, it's always been about networking for me, you know, right. and right. kind of, you know, meeting people and meeting, you know, and, and, and kind of just uh, going from there and building from there. And I, I'm, I'm like, I feel like I'm hella fortunate to be out in California doing what I'm doing. I know there's times where I just sit back in my class and I'm just like, I can't believe I'm being paid to be doing this. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, so, but yeah, that's how that all started. I, it's, I, it's always been rooted with hip hop. Uh, but you know, definitely the education part of it is just like I always feel like you know I, I want to learn as much as I can, and what I learn, I just I try to teach to others, and so that's what it's always been about for me. Uh, that's very cool and yeah. very fortunate. The, the students definitely are very fortunate to have someone uh, as stout, you know, studious and and, and you know, less as you to you know learn right. great music and stuff. Right? Right. I'm gonna speak more compos uh, with uh, speak more air in just a moment. But right now, brand new Mr. Composition. This is Expendables right here on the one. Mm. 